Hey everyone, I'm Allison, and we're gonna hear about a guy named Nehemiah, and he had a big job to do. He needed to build a really big wall, and it was so big that it surrounded an entire city. There was no way Nehemiah could do this alone. He needed God to help him do it. So here's our big idea for today. God helps us. Let's do those motions together. God helps us. Now, do you know what this is? It's a Bible, and it's all about God's story and how he rescued us. In the beginning, God made the whole world and everything in it. He made the sun and moon and planets and stars. He made forests and mountains and oceans. He made all kinds of animals, like lions and elephants and birds. Next, God made his most special creation of all. People like you and me. The first two people were named Adam and Eve, and they lived in a beautiful garden filled with flowers and trees and fruit. They got to spend time with God every day, and it was all good. Can you show good? Awesome. Then something sad happened. Can you show me sad? A snake lied to Adam and Eve, and they believed him and disobeyed God. Then all the wrong things came into the world, like sickness and sadness and death. But the story doesn't stop there, because even though Adam and Eve disobeyed God, God still loved them, just like he loves us. And he came up with a rescue plan so that Adam and Eve and you and me could be close to God again. And our rescuer is Jesus. Can you show me the sign for Jesus? Great job. God's family, the Israelites, lived in a special home called Jerusalem. But their home was attacked and the city walls had come crumbling down. Now there was a man in God's family named Nehemiah and he followed God with his whole heart. He was so sad about his home being ruined. Have you ever felt sad about something? When we feel sad, we can pray to God and tell him how we feel. And that's what Nehemiah did. He prayed to God and asked him for help. And Nehemiah wanted to help rebuild the city, but there's no way he could do it alone. He needed God to help him. Let's see what happens next. God's story, Nehemiah. So part of God's story is about a guy named Nehemiah, and it goes like this. Remember God's family? They were called the Israelites because they lived in, you guessed it, Israel. But some of them lived far away from their home. And one of those guys was Nehemiah. He lived in Persia and worked for the king. One day, his brother told him that a city in Israel called Jerusalem was suffering. And many people there weren't following God anymore. And their city wasn't in very good shape. Nehemiah cried, God, you are wonderful. But your family's home is in trouble. Please help us. When I serve the king his wine today, make him pleased with me and have him do what I ask. Later, when Nehemiah served the king's wine, the king noticed that Nehemiah looked sad. So the king asked why. Nehemiah told him about Jerusalem and asked if he could go back to rebuild the wall. The king could have killed Nehemiah for asking to leave, but instead he said go. He even helped. That's because God heard Nehemiah's prayer and answered it. Anyway, Nehemiah went to work rebuilding the wall, but little did he know he was going to need to ask for a lot more help from God. See, God and his family have always had enemies, and these enemies wanted to stop Nehemiah and the people helping him. First, they made fun of them. So Nehemiah prayed again. He said, God, some people hate us. Please get rid of them, and went back to work. Now, God does hear and answer every prayer, but sometimes not in the way we expect or even in the way we want. 
And at first, it seemed like God wasn't answering this one at all, because when the enemy saw that Nehemiah was still building, they planned an attack. But Nehemiah trusted that God heard his prayer even if it didn't feel like it. And God did. He caused some people to overhear the enemy's plan and warn Nehemiah. Even though the enemies were still after him, Nehemiah planned a defense and told the others, don't be afraid of your enemies. Remember the Lord, he is great and powerful. And on they worked, building, building, building. The closer the wall got to being finished, the more Nehemiah's enemies realized they couldn't stop him by making fun of him or by attacking him. Hmm, time for something else. They tried everything. They sent messages to get Nehemiah to leave the wall and meet them. He wouldn't. They hoped Nehemiah's hands would get weak, but Nehemiah had asked God to make his hands stronger. They even paid a priest to ask Nehemiah to leave the wall and come to the temple. But Nehemiah trusted God more than anyone else, even the priest, and he refused to stop doing the job God had given him. Kids, are you willing to listen to God and obey him no matter what? Well, finally, the wall was done. God's family got to go home again, and Nehemiah's enemies found that nothing stops God's plans. The Israelites celebrated and praised God, and as they praised, they realized how much their sins had hurt God, and they felt terrible. They told God they were sorry and thanked him for helping them. Then they made a brand new promise to follow him, and Jerusalem was once again a safe place where people honored God. And that's the story of Nehemiah. But just so you know, there's another story where God fixes something that's broken. See, one day, God would send a very special rescuer, not to save a wall, but to save the world. He made it possible for not just Israelites, but everyone in the whole world to confess their sin to God, thank him for his rescue, and follow him. And just like that old wall was made new back then, our old lives can be made new right now because Jesus has rescued us. And that's a part of God's story. Wow, what an amazing story. At first, the city walls were broken and ruined and they needed to be fixed. This was not an easy job to do. He needed lots of people to work together and help him. But most of all, he needed God's help. You know, this huge job probably seemed impossible to other people. In fact, other people even tried to stop Nehemiah. They were mad and they didn't want the city to be fixed. So Nehemiah prayed to God and asked God to protect and help them. And that's what God did. He kept them safe so they could finish their special job. God wants to help us too. Right now, think of one thing that you need help with. Okay, got it? Let's ask God to help us with that right now. Remember, when we pray, that means we talk to God and He listens to us. You can close your eyes and say these words after me. Hi God. We love you. Please help us. You can do anything. Amen. Now let's worship. We're going to show God how much we love him by singing a special song. It's all about how we can ask God to help with anything because he can do anything. So kids and parents, stand up and sing as loud as you can while doing these motions. Show me what 
Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time.